Good morning. Welcome to your indoor walking workout. If you're new to this, this is the Achievable Bodies Fitness Studio. My name's Becky. The idea for this is a little 30 minute cardio walking session, marching session, changing the beat, moving around the room, but getting your 30 minutes walking in indoors, whether because you're shielding, you feel vulnerable, you live in an area where you're not allowed to leave your house, or you just want to build your cardio up safely. Maybe you feel unsure about going outside. Maybe the weather is just not whether you want to go out in. I will be checking how many steps we do. On average, we do maybe between, all depending on how fast we work, I think the most we've done is one and a quarter miles, the least we've done is a quarter mile. But it's up to you. The idea is you get your steps in, you feel confident. Everything we do, you can do on the spot. So if you've only literally got a small space, maybe arm and arm, then you're still fine. You can do any workout in any space, okay? So I will be using the area I've got, which isn't actually as big, this looks huge on here, it's not that big when you're in it. But I will be using the space, but I want you to remember to do it on the spot if you need to. If you are very unsure of your balance, and you want to do everything on the spot, or holding onto a wall, holding onto two chairs, we do it. We're gonna get our hearts strong, we get, which will get our legs and hips strong, and get everything a little bit more powerful, and our foundation a little bit more sorted. So that being said, I'm gonna see where we start on my timer, three, five. So we started at 3,500, that's what I've done so far. And we're gonna see what we do at the end. If you're on carpet, make sure you don't scuff your feet, do pick your feet up. Pick them up anyway, but a lot of people tend to just shuffle their feet and they can get very uncomfortable on carpet. You can almost feel like hot under your feet. We always start with a gentle march. If you're doing any form of exercise, you have to warm up. And warming up doesn't mean you feeling physically warm, it means the inside of your muscles, your internal organs have had warm blood pumped around them and they are ready to get moving. So even if it's a 92 degree day outside, you still need to do a physical warm up to make sure everything inside is not still tight, it's loosened up a little bit. Just for safety. Turn. The knees are not very high at the moment. We're just getting there. We're going to turn again. Yes, back too much. Now you can start picking it up. When you're walking, whether you're walking in here, around the house, down to your little local shop, or out to walk, I want you to start to focus on your posture, heel bit. A lot of people lean into the way they're walking, and then they start to worry about falling it over. Try and keep this bit up, so your spine is balanced. Here we go, march forward. Step touch. March back. Step touch. March forward. Step touch. March back. Step touch. Two more times. So you're going out the door. Oh no, it's going to rain. We're going back. Double check. It's only a bit of water after all. Go back. Good. March in place. So you can see you can do this all on the spot. Turn and face another wall. Lift those knees up, keep the shoulders back over the hips. Get that balance. Face the back. 
last four. When the females knees, don't look down at them. Don't look down. Turn the face to front. Heel it out. Now you can pull the arms back a little bit. Arms help you balance. So if you're like this, let's try and loosen. Get our natural oil flooding through the body. Coming into your shoulders. Bring it forward. Now I'll show you what we do. Take it back. If you're in this place, you just take four marches and a touch. Take it back. Take it forward again. Be careful that when you walk forward, you don't tell me by going. Yeah? We will do it. Myself, I've seen it on here. Double touch. Work those hips. Legs go sideways. Don't keep them on this plane the whole time. It's all about just getting that half hour of cardio in. March, high knees, right leg. We're just adding up. Six, seven, turn. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heel. Now this arm movement is going to increase your breathing effort. Yeah? Which is why we're doing it. So I want you to feel. Here we go, forward, step touch, and back. If you are experienced in cardio, you want a job, why not? But this is mainly about strong walking. A good power walk will burn as many calories and get your cardio, cardio trained as much as a run Left leg lead to march. Don't push the hips back. Turn. Lift them up, come on, chest proud. Turn. You ready to turn? Woo. Do you love people do this and then they get out of breath? Turn. You check that you're putting out of breath because you're working out rather than standing like this and squishing your heart. Here we go, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. We're doing this four times because we will be turning this to a different corner eventually. Woo! Come on. The lovely. Woo! Okay, march. Good. We're going to bring the double touches back. So you're going to take two. Imagine you're threading through a small gap. Now, if you don't want to jump in, this is going to Get your heart rate up just as much as that, yes? And likewise, we're doing it on the spot. You can still move a tiny bit. Yep, we're trying to get that lateral movement. March. Up. Come on. Turn. <laughs> Excuse me. Turn. Right leg forward, 
step touch. Right leg back, step touch. Right leg forward. We do it four times because we're going to use each corner to face to, whether you're on the spot or not. Now we take a double touch. And back. Singles. Double touch. He's still walking. He's just walking sideways. Singles. Left leg. Much good. Elbows pumping. 
We can blow it. Step touch. Take it back. That's one. Because that'll be one diagonal corner. Second corner. Take it back. Take it back. Number three. Take it back. Number four. Take it back. Normal double touch. Normal single steps. Gonna make sure we do it the same as the other side. Now we're gonna repeat that. The hamstring curl, so you're walking sideways and you're holding pace. Walk sideways, single, single, double. Knee lift, don't collapse. Don't bring yourself down to the knee because it's going to actually hurt your hips if you do that. Four, three, two, March go. Come on, let's go. Coming here. 
is working as a unit, not a lead, yes? Four. You've done over a mile. Large, which considering you're working and walking on a spot or in a small area, so good. Turn. So 
36%. Low quota. Step touch. Back. Step touch. Back corner. Step touch. Three back. Step touch. Back corner.
at the leg. And what you're looking for is not this, yeah? This leg bends, but the front leg is straight, and I'm really trying to push my bum back. Oh, that feels good. Car stretch. If you're experiencing extremely tight calves after your walking workouts, um, look up the foam roller uh, video in the albums or get in touch and I will tell you how to deal with it because when you start now walking, walking or running, quite often your calves tighten up very quickly and you do need to stretch or massage them out. Once you get used to it, it's not so bad. But any time you add a new type of exercise, you're going to experience aches in your muscles in a different way than you've had them before. In up, up, up. shoulders forward, and shoulders back. You did it! You indoor walked for literally 500 steps short of two miles, which is amazing in 30 minutes, which included a cool down. 30 minutes including a cool down and you're just short of two miles. Well done. I hope to see you back here really soon. Please stay safe and please keep take care of yourself. Keep care of yourself even. See you soon. Bye.